Hello guys and welcome to Steve Knows. I've not really covered a new story this week and there's just been so, so much. So I've got quite a few stories to go over here. Plenty of VR news to endure. Let's begin. Let's start this off talking about Sony's State of Play Showcase because there were some amazing virtual reality pieces here that I lost my mind over. I am super excited for some of the games that they showed off. Sony being true to form have some true diamonds for virtual reality, bringing us great franchises and titles to the platform. And one of them of which is Hitman, the assassination trilogy coming to virtual reality developed by IO Interactive, which could be IOI. This is expected to be released alongside Hitman 3 in January 2021. So on this date, virtual reality support is going to be coming to the Hitman trilogy so you can hide, stealth and take out enemies embodying Agent 47 for the first time. And if it looks anything like the trailers, we are in for a treat. It looks like a top tier VR experience, breathing new life into a classic game for a new generation because many of you may not have even played Hitman before. It's something I played growing up. It's close to my heart. And according to Sony, PlayStation VR players will have the ability to import every single map from the past two games into Hitman 3, allowing you to interact with all 20 locations within the world of Assassination Trilogy. So that means from the 2016 Hitman ending on the Hitman 3 that's coming out in 2021, it's also going to have move controller support so you can grab that piano wire around someone's neck and... There was a comment made by Sony which just makes me think that this could be the next Half-Life Alex, but for the PlayStation platform because Half-Life Alex, they didn't bring any new mechanics. It kind of felt like a 2016 game, but they nailed it for virtual reality. And what Sony said was, for example, you can swing a frying pan in whatever angle you want to knock out a guard and then use that frying pan to deflect any bullets that are being fired at you to, to allow you to escape. So bringing that level of freedom and exploration of worldly interactions to virtual reality in Hitman, because Hitman's known for that. It was always kill, do the mission however you please, but bringing that to virtual reality, I'm so excited. I'm hyped AF. This one is a great story. It touches my heart. I have to share this with you. There is a school in Poland called Zlozkola, Zkola. 33, I'm sorry if that was wrong. And they were trying to think of ways to get children engaged in education during lockdown, because as you may be aware, kids were flunking school, they were not attending lessons, they were just going out and playing with their friends. So how do you get these kids back into the classroom, back engaged and learning? This school thought the answer was virtual reality, so they conducted lessons live and pre-recorded in Half-Life Alex for the children to consume. They conducted six lessons in total in this format, being approximately two hours each. There is a video online showing the school deserted, the playground was empty, the classrooms were empty, there was just dust gathering. It was just dead. And then it fades, slow fade, emotional music into Half-Life Alex. This was made possible because of a company called Offshot that originally created promotional videos, but they pivoted to assist in this interesting opportunity. So these teachers were equipped with Vive Pros and three cameras to allow them to record math, English and science lessons. Half-Life Alex also has that room where you can draw on the windows, which acts like a whiteboard. And I, I bet that came in very handy. Anyway, it was great news. It received fantastic feedback from the children. They came back to lessons. They were more engaged. They were stimulated and were excited to attend more school. Could this be the future of our education? I sure hope so, because that would be epic. VR for the win. So let's talk about a new game reveal. The one that kind of interests me because I really love Nordic mythology so much. God of War was just the perfect game for me. It still makes me crease when I think about how much I love it. Boy. 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 Sin Studios are bringing us a swordsman game that's being compared to Blade and Sorcery, but with Nordic ties. The Jotun is from Jotunheim, which you may know from Thor movies. He's trying to enslave humanity and has built an army around the globe. So you have to make your way through the army before taking on the final boss, Jotun. We got a beta reveal of the gameplay. We got to see some combat and also the power of Jotun, as it looks like he's about to transform or unleash some firepower upon us. I'm excited to see how this turns out. It's coming to PC and PlayStation VR. 
I'm just not sure when. Calling the Rockers, the Guitar Hero fans. Upload VR did a live stream for a game called Rocking Hero, which will excite you if you were a fan of Guitar Hero or Rock Band back in the day. But this one is for virtual reality. This game looks like it was made for the Valve Index as you have finger tracking on those knuckle controllers. But for everyone else, in order to interact with the game, you're gonna have to move your whole arm up and down the fretboard, which just seems a bit... <laughs> This game dropped on the 6th of August in early access for £20, but it's currently got 20% off if you want to pick it up. I love rocking out, but there are only four buttons, one for each finger if you've got finger tracking. If they add another button and allow you to slide up and down the neck, that will reach new levels for this title. It would allow for even more complex gameplay. I think they're onto something here, but perhaps this generation it's wasted because only the Valve has that finger tracking capabilities and the game seems like that is the way to play. That's the definitive way to play. I don't feel like I want to play any other way because it looks like you're going to feel like an epic badass. And if you can move up and down the neck and use your fingers, you're going to feel like you're playing the guitar. Or at least when you have to move that whole hand, you're going to lose that badass rock star feel. I have high hopes for this game. Let me know your thoughts on this one. Did they release it too early? Should it be worked on more and then released when we got finger tracked controllers? Because the PlayStation VR, even that is getting finger tracking. Let me know down below. <laughs> So Tarzan just dropped an insane new trailer because previously we got news that Tarzan was going to be an episodic adventure VR title where you'd embody the human ape Tarzan. We now got some new footage that was shot in mixed reality using live or live, whatever you want to call it. In the trailer, we see people swinging through the trees on vines like Tarzan would, jumping off cliffs into rivers, fighting off people using bow and arrows and axes. This trailer gives us much more insight into the kind of mechanics and the gameplay that we can expect when playing the game. Still, we don't have the perspective of what we're going to see as a gamer, but the trailer did make me, the trailer made me laugh so much. The music and the guy in the suit swinging through the trees was hilarious. I'm not sure if that was intended, but it cracked me up. I'll leave a link down below so you can check that out. It is comedic gold. This is expected to be out later this year on all mainstream headsets, including Windows Mixed Reality and PlayStation VR. So I've got an update on Stride, the game from Joyway. This is inspired by Mirror's Edge. The free running mechanics are very unique and are more physical than just moving a joystick. The game also has some action elements such as combat and shooting, and a new trailer has just been released for the title just before it's about to be released this month into early access, which I'm so excited for. And they showed off the endless mode where you run, 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 and just free run for as long as you possibly can. There are enemies along the way, so you do engage in combat whilst you're testing your stamina. And it sounds like good training to test out your skills. So we see them running between buildings, jumping off walls, shooting enemies. It just looks very fun and intense. There is a campaign coming for its full release, but in early access, expect three arcade modes, which won't all be released at the same time. I'm not sure which one we're going to be getting first there's going to be an endless mode which we've just seen an arena mode where it's all about combat and a time chase mode where you can test your skills how fast are you some time trials they've also said that they are looking at trying to get this onto the oculus quest and the playstation vr as well so fingers crossed joy way bring the joy our way this way I shouldn't have said any of that. So you may have seen Gravity Labs in one of my coming soon videos. There was no release date at that time, but we have one now. Gravity Labs is a puzzle game where you have to get the ball to the other end of the course, to their destination, using a variety of objects, a variety of different methods that is completely up to you. You have things like gravity platforms, something that propels balls across the map. The lab is your playground. It doesn't matter how you do it, just as long as you get that ball into that hole. Can I say that? Expect around 30 puzzles on release and a sandbox mode where you can design your own courses so you have an infinite playground to enjoy. This is coming out on August 20th. Okay, this one is a little interesting. This one is coming from a company called Wolf 3D and it's not to be confused with Wolfenstein 3D, which I did. They have been using technology to create you an avatar based off a selfie. So for virtual reality applications, we could take a selfie and then have our own custom avatar in game, easy as pie. This company is not looking to be part of a monolithic social platform, but rather allow for cross-platform creation. So you can use your avatar 
across titles, making your online presence more personal. They just received 1.3 million in funding for them to continue their development, to start creating a full body avatar, not just from the neck up. Unfortunately though, this does depend on the developers implementing or integrating Wolf 3D system for us to enjoy this, but it is such a great idea. It's literally just like Ready Player One, visiting all these different worlds with our parties, with our friends, but as ourselves. That sounds great. We need this for us to create the Oasis. This is the first step to having that Oasis. It may be sooner than we think. Okay, a genius mod now that is available for Beat Saber that's going to transform your game into a more intense workout. And it can probably teach you some rhythm at the same time. It's being called Feet Saber. This mod drops the height of the blocks to the floor as well as your track, allowing you to kick, step and jump on the blocks. You will either need to be rocking the Vive trackers to enable this or somehow attach your remote to your feet. Omoti or Motia, I'm sorry if I'm saying that right, just a big YouTuber posted a video of their avatar dancing with this mod enabled and it looks awesome, bringing new life into a game that's been around and played to death. This is something that Beat Studios should be implementing to keep us excited and engaged in the game. So thank you so much to the modding community for having these great ideas and implementing them. So that's it for me today, guys. Thanks for watching to the end of the video, getting caught up on the latest and greatest in the virtual reality space. Please subscribe to the channel and bring me one step closer to the dream. Thank you to my patrons, you absolute legends, and happy gaming, guys. Good day.